Okay, we're gonna try this again. So we did a little experiment and um, it really wasn't that great. So I'm trying something different. So we're actually, I'm just going back to what I was doing before. So here we are. Thank you for um, coming. And um, give me one second. I just need to let somebody know that I'm doing this now. Um, but I'm going to be talking today about um, what it's like to clean somebody else's house versus cleaning my own house because there is a huge difference. <sighs> Goodness. Okay. So the first thing is, um, sorry. So I'm so sorry. I'm still multitasking. That's so rude, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Um, so anyway, when you're cleaning somebody else's house, um, one of the biggest differences for me is that um, these are other people's things. So uh, I don't want to break them or lose them or put them someplace where they can't find them. So I try, hi Michael, I try to be very um, conscientious of what I'm doing so that I don't break their pro, you know, their house, their, their house, the things that they have, their possessions and their things. If I find something that I, or if it's sitting out like jewelry, or money, or papers that might be important, I still leave them pretty much where they were. I just might arrange it a little neater. Um, but I try to be very, very aware that I don't own these things. And if I break it, I'm responsible for it. So that's the number one thing. Whereas I might be a little less worried about it in my own house, even though if I break something, I'm going to be upset, but I have nobody to blame but myself. That's the first thing. Um, the other thing is, I can't click on your name, Michael, sorry. Um, the other thing is that, uh, I got distracted again. How about that? I had such a full day today, so my, I'm just really rushing here and I should settle down and get in and get comfortable, maybe. The other thing that's really different when you clean your own house versus somebody else's house, or when I do it anyway, when I go to clean somebody's house, I'm working. So it's just like when I go to any other kind of job that I might have had, or when you go to a job, you're focused on getting that task done. Uh, and you want to, of course, get it done right and get it out of there and move on to the next thing. At my house, um, when I'm cleaning my own stuff, it's so easy to get uh, distracted. So the phone rings or somebody knocks on the door or, you know, if I have people in my house, they're asking me questions and ask, can you do this? Can you do that? All these things come up. And so, you know, what might take me only four hours to do in another house could take me all day to do at my house or it might not even ever get done. Um, but yeah, there's distractions because, um, you know, that's a difficult thing. And then maybe this falls under distractions or maybe not but there's certain things that i just don't do at other people's houses like i don't do their dishes i don't do their laundry i don't do anything that would be considered personal i'm there clean doing the heavy duty work so i'm cleaning the, the tubs and i'm cleaning the floors and i'm doing all that stuff whereas when i'm cleaning my own house you know i still have to do the dishes i still have to fold clothes i have to do these more personal type things or things that would fall under more of an organizational category so those those other things that would add on to the time that I wouldn't necessarily do for somebody else although I might it depends on the circumstances but I think the the biggest thing about the difference between my house and somebody else's house is that um, it's just more relaxed at my house I'm probably more likely to stop and watch TV where I wouldn't necessarily do that well I would never do that at somebody else's house um, you know if the phone rings and it's somebody that you know more than likely it's going to be a customer or otherwise i'm going to tell them i'm working right now i'll call you back you know um but those are the biggest things and uh this is a fairly short video so i want to thank you again for watching if you have any questions uh oh somebody came on who's on can you say hi oh they left Okay, well anyway, I'm Miss Jenny and I again want to thank you for coming on and I apologize for the bloopers. I'm going to delete those videos so that 
Did you see that bug? So that they don't, um, people aren't watching nonsense. <laughs> if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask because I, I love your questions and I'll do my very, very best to um, answer them. And give me a like. I know this was kind of a weird video with a lot of staring and stuttering, but you know, I'm learning. I've never claimed to be a professional videographer. And um, we just found out you just shared the stream on your Twitter. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. The good one, not the bad one, I hope. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I was experimenting with a, um, an app, and we decided we didn't like the way that it was coming across. And I want to thank Michael for giving me that feedback, too. That's so helpful, because it would have been horrible for somebody to come on and watch that that I didn't know. So, anyways, give me a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And you guys have a good evening. Thanks. Bye.